So what do we do? I think you just put it in. Oh look, oh, oh my gosh. Scanned it? That's so insane. That and is awesome. crazy. It feels like we're not spending money. It feels like we're inside of like a video game. That's so freaking <laughs> genius of Amazon. Good job, Jeff. friends welcome back to my channel I just realized I'm literally yelling and that is only because I'm so excited it's the crack of dawn what time is it Chris seven on a Sunday and we are currently driving out to the valley to visit the Amazon grocery Ooh. store <laughs> so fun fact a few weeks ago I actually drove out here to attempt to go to the grocery store but they wouldn't let me in because you had to have an invite <laughs> to get into the grocery oh, store. Oh, you didn't know someone who knew someone in the bagging department? I tried, I even tried to befriend the woman outside and she was so kind that she actually gave me a coupon for $5 off, so whatever. Okay. So for those of you guys who are unaware of what this whole Amazon grocery store situation is all about, first off, these stores are run by robots. Are they? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> because when you go into the store, you apparently put all of your items into the cart and then the cart is able to somehow calculate what? what items are inside of it and then you just like leave the store and your Amazon account gets charged. That's crazy. Oh wow. my gosh, we are pulling in. Is there a line outside? I There's hope no not line at outside. Seven on a Sunday. Wow. <laughs> so beyond being run by robots. This grocery store also allegedly has some of the lowest prices out there. They're trying to compete with Costco on pricing. From what I've heard, you can buy fresh baked bread for 89 cents. Oh man, let's do this, come on. I'm so excited. So Chris, of all the places I have dragged you on this <laughs> channel, are you actually excited about this one? You know how I love the grocery store, babe, come on. This is like, a no-brainer. And I live for Amazon, so let's go inside. Let's go see what these robots got going. So I have my QR code and I just take it and I go like this. <gasps> wow, you unlocked oh my God, it. It says add bags to your cart. There's already bags inside. Add items. Then put the item in your bag. If the lights turn orange, remove the item and try again. Look at these cameras. There's like cameras on the Oh phone. my gosh. Adding items without a barcode. Tap PLU item. Add to bag. Confirm weight. Roll through the dash cart lane. Which is that. Return your cart and go. You'll get a receipt via email. If you ever need help, an associate will help you. Okay, let's shop. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's pretty cool. This is crazy. We found the bread. Pick one up. Do we need to get one? Yeah, pick one up. Fresh Oh bread. my gosh, 89 cents. Sandies. Okay, put it in the bag. Okay, how to add items. Confirm quantity, all right. Oh my gosh, okay. I love <laughs> robots. The other thing that this store is really known for is it's 15 cents each bananas. A little green on the stem <laughs> for a little time that they can ripen slightly. All right, but then they're yellow if you want to eat them down here. All right, let's see how it goes. 4011. Yep. How many do we have? Eight. Put the item in the Ooh, cart. Confirm quantity. Yay! Nice. One thing I want to point out that I think is really important for people who are a little hesitant to be trying out this Amazon grocery store is that not only are you going to get the Amazon branded stuff and the 365 stuff that they have at Whole Foods, but you're also going to get all of your favorite brands too. And I think this ketchup aisle is a great example. So like obviously you have 365 right there, but then you also have Heinz, this Our Family brand, and then you have Hunt's. Too. But that's what's cool about this store is that you can get really well-priced Amazon items But you can also get your favorite brands too. Not all places are like that If you go to some fancy grocery stores, you can't get like coca-cola for example. Okay, let's keep shopping Do we need pickles pick out some pickles? I'm gonna go with Perfect for a little sandy. Yep. So what do we do? I think you just put it in. Oh look. Oh, oh my gosh. Scanned it? That's so insane. That is awesome. crazy. Tortillas oh, a very does. wide assortment for my husband no, let's see. <laughs> I'm a little snobby with these things. Put it in the cart. Let's see. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm on the show Silicon Valley. <laughs> if we are, you're Ehrlich Bachman. I started Aviato. Aviato. My Aviato. Huge assortment of meats. What'd you pick up? I'm gonna do this. It's $3.48 for tacos. Oh, for a ground beef. Yeah. That's a great price. Yeah, because we never really do ground beef. So no. Here, let's see. Put it in the cart. Oh my gosh. Honestly, that never point, gets old. I think you have to point the barcode to the cameras. That's what those are for. Interesting. That's what I'm guessing. Seems like a good deal. Two fifty for fish. How much does smoked salmon normally cost? I don't know. To get it from the sea to your plate. Oh my gosh, is this the popcorn aisle? Here we go. Fun fact: I could pound some of these little cheddar cakes in like <laughs> for breakfast. I could have this for breakfast. Yes, you could. Here, I'm gonna try to put this in the cart. Yeah. <gasps> Great. Satisfying, huh? The, the flash. I love this. This is so fun. It feels like we're not spending money. It feels like we're inside of like a video game. That's so freaking genius of Amazon. Good job, Jeff. Oh my gosh, what else should we get? You want to try some multi-grain tortilla chips or I mean, some... What do we actually need, I guess is the question. <laughs> we need to reevaluate. This price for olive oil and for ranch is absolutely mind-blowing. These are the brands we buy all the time at the grocery store. This is the cheapest I've ever seen. Look at that. $5.99. $2.79? That's crazy. Throw them in the cart. Wow. That's kind of wild. These are some of our favorite Mary's. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> lots and lots of egg oh, options. Look good. Oh, and you can keep track of how many items you have and how much money you've spent. And then all the popular items, that's like your little list that you can make. You can have coupons. There's so much Amazon brand stuff that I've never seen before. I feel like we should definitely try the coffee. And it's really, really well priced for a whole bag between like four and seven dollars. Which kind should we try? Dark roast, throw it in the bag. Okay. Great, it's in. I also discovered a new Amazon brand that I've seen in a few different places called Salimo. The prices here, I can confirm, are better than Costco, which is crazy. Did you know that a rotisserie chicken here costs under $5? No. Uh, by the way, this is not sponsored. I'm just like so fascinated But by if this. you wanna sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll gladly take your money because we give you all of ours. So we just found this little kiosk inside the grocery store and Alexa is basically my best friend. She with us. What do you want to ask her how to find? It says, if you need help, try asking, where can I find Look, I like that wine? question. Oh, okay. Alexa, where can I find wine? See options at aisle 15. Great. Let's go to aisle 15. We made it to the wine aisle, and you guys, this is not too shabby. They even label it highly rated under $20. So it says age restricted, your ID will be checked. Cool. Very smart, Amazon, very smart. So we just got pizza slices for $1.79 and wait for it. Whoa. Sushi being made fresh right here. Another cool thing here at the store is that you can pick up some of your favorites from Amazon. It's a little section called the best of Amazon. Honestly, a really great place to probably pick up a last minute gift. We're getting our last few items. So far we're up to 28 items, $79. And a pretty full cart. And a lot of really, really great stuff. So let's go check out. So we're next, we're gonna check out right now. Go I for have, it. I have my ID ready, here we go. I feel like I'm at the airport. See, look, just uh, a second, we're coming to help you check out. We... Cool, amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh, $10 off. I forgot to use my coupon. Oh, what <laughs> So we can't take this cart out of the store because it'll lock. So they give us another cart to put our stuff into to transfer it out to our car. And this is where we have to say goodbye to our cart. It's very bittersweet. Goodbye, goodbye cart. I love you. Look, there's even a thank you at the top. You're welcome. Wow. What do you think nice. about it? I thought it was pretty cool. I think one thing is they gotta make their carts a little bigger because we like groceries. 
Yeah, so that's my main takeaway. The only thing that I would have to say that was constructive criticism is that the cart is small. So I would really only use the robot experience if I was just coming for a few things. Exactly. If I was gonna do a huge store run, I would use a regular cart. And if you guys are a little intimidated by the concept of doing the robot thing, they have normal checkout as yeah. well inside. Yeah. So, wow. Point. And I gotta say, the prices here are really good. We saved a lot of money. I would think so. Yeah, we gotta check out the receipt when we get in the car. I'm already chugging my Ojo. <laughs> Shopping is tiring. Want some? <laughs> no, thank you. That was so fun and so successful. I bet this place pops in the afternoon. Well, here's the interesting thing that I mentioned was that I've been trying to come here for probably about the last month. Uh, I actually called Amazon and tried to get invited unsuccessfully. <laughs> I think a lot of people don't even know this is open yet, but when they do, this place is gonna go off because I'm looking at the receipt right now. The concept that we were able to get all of this stuff under $100 is not normal. No. The bread costs 90 cents. 89 cents, I'm sorry. For fresh baked leaven. <laughs> okay. Okay. What I want to say is that I will absolutely come back to the Amazon Fresh grocery store. I do think there are a few kinks that need to be worked out, but when they work them out, robots will continue the takeover. This is not called officially an Amazon robot grocery store, but I mean, if those carts are not robots, what the hell are they? They're going to add Alexa to all those carts. Just watch. That's my prediction. Because imagine if you're like, Alexa, take me to the wine, and then it's a self-driving cart to the wine aisle. I can help Jeff Bezos brainstorm on the future. Jeffrey call us. Also, at that point, why wouldn't you just do grocery delivery, which is what we typically do? Well, I mean, curbside's cool too. You just check in using your app and they bring it out to you. Yep, that's what's going on over here. Basically, the moral of the story is it's nice to have options. If you're someone who enjoys going to the grocery store, me, like this guy, I think this is a really fantastic option if you're someone like me who likes to stay at home and lay in your bed while people deliver things to you, then Amazon Fresh delivery is a really good option. Anyways, you guys, let us know if you're planning to come to one of these stores or if you want us to visit other grocery stores. I was thinking it would be really fun to go to the most bougie grocery store in LA where literally a smoothie costs $25 and I allegedly have purchased them multiple times. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you next time. Peace.